Hello everyone. Um, this is just a short video to show you my uh, modified atomic screwdriver. So you see, it's a standard atomic screwdriver, the second generation toy one. Um, I think it's the second one that's got the lighter coloured body, better fit. Um, basically, what I did, I mean, well, apparently, I suppose there's three modifications. Well, there's two major ones. First one, I replaced the ultraviolet LED with a super bright white one. That's pretty simple. Just this is simple. This section here, I think, just split two bits, and desoldered the ultraviolet one and soldered on the white one. Make sure it's pointing straight up instead of at an angle like the ultraviolet one was. So now you got a nice torch. It's really, see, it's really bright. And the second thing I did is I removed the original button, little buttons in there, and I've attached a bigger one to the slider. So you can actually hold down the button and slide it at the same time. And there's a simple case of moving the little one. You don't, I don't think you have to actually remove it and keep it out if you want for these ones, but I did to make it easier. And then mounted the wires because they're quite long wires, they were stuffed in there. And mounted them up for a hole that I made with an old soldering iron through the battery door cover bit. You can see the hole there, kind of. So you can see that. And the wires come up and then soldered onto the switch. Your button here I just took from a broken free Xbox 360 control that you can get on all sorts of electronics and buy, or buy them separately if you want them from like mapped in Radio Shack whatever and then I tried super glue to attach this to the slider but even with super glue for the force of pushing it up made it come loose so I used an old soldier on to melt the plastic of the slider onto the actual switch so now it's just not going to come off you apply a lot of force. So yeah, that's pretty good. You can just hold down the button and slide it up. I'm looking for a method of maybe quite say somehow increasing the pitch of the sound as you slide it up. So it gets higher pitch when it's up and lower pitch when it's down. I seem to remember that in one Doctor Who episode. I think that'd be kinda cool though. If you want it in the episode. But, um, yeah, that's the major modification. Another thing I did pretty simple really was super glue the whole bit to the body so it can't be removed. Just because it kept falling off, and I found the ultraviolet LED, and what was the point of having the ultraviolet pen? So, yeah, I'll lift this off so I can use it as a pen because it's a pretty good pen and um, that's about it really I'm looking to modify it some more disassemble it completely and repaint it get rid of these buttons here fill in the holes so it's properly round yeah, get this all painted nicely not that it's not like this before but you know do a better paint job I fix the switch a bit more other than that uh, that's it really. Uh, hope maybe I'll give you some ideas. Maybe you try it yourself. It was really simple. Um, that's about it. Thank you for watching. And if you have any suggestions or anything, just leave in the comments and I'll reply. Thank you.